Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows 10 File Explorer is very slow and or appears to be crashing very frequently. So there's a couple of different methods on how we can go about resolving this problem and obviously it'll have to be a little bit framed towards the error that you're having or if it's whether it's slow or it's crashing because those are two different symptoms but I just wanted to kind of give an overarching tutorial for you guys today so we can go, go find a resolution for everybody so we're gonna go ahead and start by opening up the star menu type in index when the best matches should come back with indexing options go ahead and left click on that select the advanced tab or the advanced button I should say and then underneath troubleshooting, delete and rebuild index, left click on the rebuild button. Rebuilding the index might take a long time to complete. Some views and search results might be incomplete until rebuilding is finished. Left click on OK. This will take some time as it stated, so please be patient. Okay, so once indexing is complete, I would suggest attempting to conduct a search on File Explorer. Use it for a few minutes, see if that has resolved the problem. If you are still having an issue, or more specifically, if you notice File Explorer is crashing pretty frequently, another thing we can try would involve opening up the Start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that, and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you are prompted with a user account control window, left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it. So if anything ever went wrong and you wanted to restore it back, this is going to be a very straightforward process. And in order to do that, all you have to do is left click on the file tab, left click on export, file name, usually I suggest naming it the date in which you're creating the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer by clicking on the save button and if you ever need to import it back in you just would left click on the file tab and then left click on import and navigate to the file location so pretty straightforward now that you've made your backup we're ready to begin and we're going to start by expanding the hkey current user folder so either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down do the same thing now for the software folder. So again, double click or expand the little arrow. Now you want to look for the classes folder right under here. So just go ahead and expand that. Now that we've gone ahead and done that, you want to locate the local settings folder. So I'm just going to scroll down quite a little bit here. Don't want to go too far. So there you go, local settings. Expand that one as well. And now there should be a software folder under here. Expand that. Microsoft folder, expand that one as well, and expand Windows. So now that you've expanded Windows, there should be a shell folder, expand that one as well. Please note if you are having trouble keeping up with the pace of the video, feel free to pause the video and take note of the path up at the top of the screen. Each backslash indicates a folder we've already gone into, so just keep that in mind. If you want to slow the video down, pause it, it's fine with me, just going to put that out there. But we're going to keep moving ahead and there should be a bag MRU folder right here. You want to go ahead and just right click on that and then left click on delete. It's going to ask are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys. Left click on yes. Now there should be a bags folder as well. You want to right click on that. Select delete. Again are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys. Select yes. And now that you've done that, you should be able to just go ahead and minimize out or close out of the registry editor, whatever you want to do. I would suggest restarting your computer, and hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.